and welcome back to my channel I brought these staghorn trees in um, I should have done it a bit sooner to be honest because they're already starting to bud out but I can't take, I can't leave them and not chop them back now so it's do or die for them because if I leave them grow they'll be four or five foot tall by the end of this summer so I definitely need to chop them back like I say I should have done it sooner but again it's just another one of these trees that at the back of the garden I've been kind of working my way around and there's just been other things I've been working on what trees like this um, they kind of get left to last because I don't know, maybe they just feel they're not as important as other trees. Uh, I just collected these on the side of the road. I was just driving along and they shoot up from from um, they, they send root, uh, roots out and then they shoot up from the roots. And that's how they spread. It's supposed to apparently spread quite easily. So I just picked these up, so I stopped my car one day and opened the door and they were just all growing on the side of the road, practically on the road. And um I just picked a few picked them up. They were probably not much thicker than that when I got them. All these I collected them two years ago. I think it is now. And I already chopped them back last year. You can see they were chopped back here. But now I want to chop them back again because I, like to, I don't want them to grow too big. I wasn't too sure the first year how much to chop them back. So this year I'm going to be a bit braver. Just like that. It's either do or die with them. You can see here the roots are spreading, shooting across. So, um, say with them how tall I want to chop them back. I chop them back here first because I wasn't, I was being kind of cautious but I'm wondering should I chop them back even further this year. You know, this is my biggest tree so I'll probably keep this the tallest. Maybe we'll just go back to here for now with this one. I heard that the sap on these can be poisonous to animals and stuff, I'm not too sure how poisonous they are on these actual ones, but there is a type of these that can be poisonous, so I'll just be careful with them. Okay, so that's my tallest one. We'll go back to be here on this one, and this one I'll go back to there. I mean, you could probably make cuttings out of them, but I'm not going to bother with that. This was chopped here and up here at some stage. But it's going to go just below that. Ugly bin there. I get to know what they grow as cuttings, but to be honest, I've probably got enough as it is. Now, this one a bit smaller than this one trying to find a outward facing node if I can if we go down with that one this one will just go a little bit lower Okay. So go there with that one. 
and there with that one. This one will go back to there. Now, I'm not one hundred percent sure that this will be safe enough to do this time of year. Should I have? I know I should have done it sooner, but like that, it's either now or never with them. And I'm just gonna give my secretaries a bit of a clean now if I can find something to clean them with. It's a glossy just to get that sap off them, just in case it, it does irritate. Okay. So let's them chop back. We get a nice red foliage in the autumn. They look quite nice, and they do grow kind of all angles and things. So. I'm hoping one day to just build a forest maybe about this high. That's why you have to chop them back now. And there's a few weeds in there, just get rid of them. Back here. So there's one planting that doesn't seem to suffer too much of weeds for some reason, like the rest of them. Maybe it's because it's above all the rest of them, it's up high on the at the back of my bank. Now is I will just give them a bit of food just to help push them on a bit. Push them in. Sprinkle a bit of that around. A little water in then once we give them some water. bench and I have an oak tree that I just want to check as well so we'll bring that one down and have a look at that. Okay I was gonna bring down an oak tree and um, I was gonna do a bit of just clean up on but I spotted this oak forest that I've done a bit back and this also needs a bit of looking at a bit of weeding all the moss that was on it has all died off. Um, so, I'm going to have to get some more moss. And this is just uh, when I'm driving around the roads where I live, lots of country roads, and you find they're not very busy roads, so you get a lot of little trees, which is great for bonsai enthusiast, little trees that are just whips growing on the side of the road where they've dropped and landed in the skirt of the road kind of thing um, and just started growing and then every now and again they come along and just scrape the whole road, all the side of the road and get rid of them all so if you're lucky enough to get in there and pull a few out before they get taken so this is again was just some trees I just pulled up the side of the road on the in my car and just pulled them out. Um they were just chucked into this basically. There's a little foresty kind of a thing. So you can see they're starting to leaf out. I'm just gonna go through each tree, take off any stubs or things like that. And where I can take out the terminal bud at the end take off any dead branches before they completely take off on me and a place like this where there's three branches coming out the same place we'll get rid of one of them so again not great trees they're just trees that I've collected and take that back 
there. And just thrown in a pot. Take off the terminal buds where I can to try and push the other back buds to push out. I won't do major pruning on it now. I'll wait until it's it's grown for a while first. And then we'll just go through it. But I just want to take off where there's three branches together or stubs and things, take them out. And this tree could be a bit high up here. Reducing back, but I won't do it now. I'll wait till it's in leaf. Take that one out because it's growing in towards the main tree. But it's handy to be able to just drive around, always keeping your eye open for any little things like this growing on the side of the road. Collect them, good to work on, just to practice le learning how to work with different types of trees. And it's cost you nothing to do it. Being put in a pot at some stage when I got it first, it's got a wire scar, and I must have done some wiring or something on it. Or maybe when I put it in here, I just put some wire on to straighten it up a bit. Maybe that's what happened, and I forgot about the wire for a while. But not to worry. And this back one, take it there, I'll take it off. Oh, this whole top looks dead. Yeah, it is. Take that out. This is the main leader, but then I'd have to reduce all the others. So I might just leave it for this year or for now anyway. It'll help thicken the trunk, leaving all this up, and then maybe we'll take it back here and I'll chop all the rest back next year. The top of that one is dead. I'm not too sure if I got some of that. Stuff on my hands from them last trees because my hands start to feel a bit hot and itchy. Okay, I'm just going to scrape back some of this slimy stuff that's built upon the top of the soil here. This forest was kind of tucked away and I think it was just getting too wet. so. Now it's up on the new benches. We'll be getting a lot more wind, which will dry it out a bit more. I'm not going to bother remossing it. Let it dry out 
a bit. The trees don't seem to mind it being too wet. I plant these in these little forests that I just collect the trees and stuff and normally just use some recycled soil for it probably why it's so wet there's probably quite a bit of compost and stuff in this one I think when you're just using collected, free collected little trees like this there's no point wasting with the expensive bonsai soil on it just to get it started. The only thing is you get a lot of grass going in it. Again, birds tend to spend their life on these trees and the neighbour feeds them all the time so they have lots of seeds probably stuck to their feet and stuff and was dropping them on the trees. Okay, so that's giving it a bit of a clean off anyway. Um, let's see if I can just brush off all that loose stuff. Okay, we just have to place, place up. Oh on all that and I didn't realise the camera was up in the air. Okay so I've just basically went around and scraped all this top of this to clean off all the, the wet mucky stuff on the top. Um, I doubt I won't moss it, I'll leave it, let it dry off and we'll just keep our eye on it. And then maybe like that we'll make a decision on whether we're going to trim it back. Oh, we'll wait until the leaf's out first, hardens off. We'll have a look at what it looks like then. Okay, so that's just a little oak forest. Collected oaks and make a little wild kind of looking forest, and this kind of pot I got this kind of a forest pot, quite nice. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Again, if you like the videos, please give me a thumbs up, and like that if you haven't already, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.